What up, what up? What is going on, guys? Your boy Jazz. Welcome back to another Madden 15 online ranked match. And today, we have the Battle of the Birds. We have the Arizona Cardinals going up against the Baltimore Ravens. Two birds, two beaks, two nostrils. Do I see a nostril? No? I don't know. They got to breathe somehow, right? I'm sure they got some nostrils. Anyways, but look at look at me with the cool slick bag, though. You see me in my Cardinals logo? Cool little slick bag, though. So, uh, here we go. Uh, definitely a game I was looking forward to because y'all know I love my man, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry the Goon Fitzgerald. Still running San Diego offense. Still an offense that... I uh, feel comfortable with right now. I went ahead and uh, skimmed through some playbooks yesterday. And I, I just, you know, definitely think San Diego is going to be my book of choice as of now. Until I find something better, there's still a handful of playbooks I haven't went through yet. But uh, as of now, definitely San Diego. I just really enjoy their split set. And that's what you see me running here. Um, definitely. The, the only thing I don't like is that I'm having trouble finding anything uh, like a very deep threat type of plays you know all my plays are very short as you see just quick drags quick slants you know things like that still haven't really found any routes that i'm able to utilize deep over the field right there just completely my fault i seen somebody screaming at me right over the middle and i just got rid of the ball i seen them ah, ee, 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 and i threw the ball i got scared I, di I didn't know what to do like i i got nervous man very 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 nervous kind of that feel that that uh feel for you whenever um you see somebody from immigration walking around you i'm american and I've been born and raised in America, but just being a Puerto Rican, I see I get nervous. You know, ne you never know. You never know. I'm a. You don't know what's gonna happen. No, I, I can't go to Puerto Rico. I don't speak Spanish. I've been there once. They got roaches that fly the size of your thumb. It's it's too hot. And uh, yeah, I, no, no, not a country for me. Definitely not, <laughs> not for me. So um, nice sack right there. Forced the third and sixteen goes over towards the side. And I was not expecting. Pat Pete to make that play. That was such a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, defensive play for him to make right there. Absolutely gorgeous. And I was, I, I can't believe he made that play. So here we go back again offensively. A uh, quick little comeback route right there. And like I said, man, just really quick short routes, being able to run the ball hopefully successfully. And so far, so good. I've been able to do pretty well. I think on this account, um, I am like seven and one, six and one, or something like that. And uh, what's actually good news is that uh, they reset the leaderboards today, which was amazing. Now, I don't know. Uh, right there, look at this punt on the five-yard line. Dink! Uh, look at that punt, though. Uh, it was fourth and inches, but fourth down swag, folks. Fourth down swiggity swag. I should have picked up the first down. And like I said, playing this way is only going to make you a better Madden player. There's no way you could become a worse Madden player if you could figure out how to win punting on fourth and inches and things like that so uh, i got tweeted today somebody hit me up like hey ogs man uh madden took your advice and they reset the leaderboards now i don't know if i had anything to do with it i don't i don't know uh i would i i'd probably doubt it but um the sponsored stream by ea that we had the other day where they wanted me to give my thoughts on it i did say i uh disliked them not resetting the leaderboards uh you know it's a new year and uh i just didn't like the idea you know of them being able to do that because i want to be able to race to the 100 i want to be able to make it there and earn it you know same way as i did last year you know uh me starting this year i was almost in the top 100 already you know after one win i was ranked like like i made the top 100 in madden 15 i got a gyozo of it of my main account after like three games and i was like oh that's no fun you know i, I want to earn my way to the top 100 you know like right now I think I'm ranked like 130th or something like that. And it's like, I don't, I, I disagree with that. All right, here, look at this catch, though. We live it up to Larry Fitzgerald. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are living like Larry. Oh, my goody Google. What an absolute snag. Went up for the ball. The ball was beautifully placed right. Oh, at the end of the game, I have a nice little slow mo. That catch was B beautiful the fact that he just went up so high snagged it tip toeing in my cleats right in the back of the end zone was astronomically biblical that mean larry fitzgerald is a pantherine a stinky filthy it's a bimbo pantherine i had somebody hit me up on twitter the other day like, you know i think it's crazy how mid-conversation you know, just we talk about anything and just hit him with the it's a fumble. Just talking. Yes, yeah, so I went to church the other day. And, you know, if you read Abraham, it's a fumble. Like, that's how you got to do it, baby. 
But um, Larry the Goomp is your the stinky, filthy pantherine. And um, I'm actually excited that uh, in the works, we are creating a pantherine shirt. I am super excited. Uh, we're going to get some pantherine shirts, maybe even some G-strokes uh, stuff for you guys. Um, like phone cases, all that other good stuff. If you guys don't know, I have a few designs uh, in the description. You guys can check it out as you score a touchdown right there. Uh, where I got, uh, you know, don't test the user. I'm bringing the lumber. No soup for you. I got a couple designs, uh, you know, T-shirts, uh, phone cases, iPads, all that fun stuff. Go ahead and uh, check it out. Even baby onesies. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, check it out. So the next one um, I'm going to get going is I am pantherine. Now, not I am a pantherine because that's, that's not what a pantherine would say. It would say, by the way, look at that T-Raw Blitz coming through the, the B-Gap, though. Um, it's going to say, I am Pantherine. And some people are like, yo, what's a Pantherine? A pan First of all, I, I said this just randomly. I was playing Halo 3, uh, and I was streaming it. This was months ago. Look at that almost teabag right there. And I got a triple kill, and I went crazy, right? Because it was my first time playing Halo in, like, years. I got a triple kill. Oh, I'm, I'm a beast. Oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Panther. I'm a sleek black panther i'm so sleek and nimble and i was like no i'm a wolverine i'm a pantherine i'm a combination of both look at this pun though look at geo gs special team ebook coming uh towards you soon so um you know pantherine is just a panther with them wolverine claws man and we're gonna get i am pantherine shirts and logos and towels and baby onesies all that fun stuff coming your way and i'm i'm excited i'm gonna purchase one myself i am pantherine so as usual we give up a fourth down conversion like i said i hate that you're able to go for it on fourth down not because you're you know i don't hate you for going for it of course not you do what you feel like you got to do to win i hate that i can't stop it you know i just i just suck at stopping somebody on fourth down i haven't done that consistently since madden 98 so uh, definitely very frustrating just seeing somebody going for it on fourth down picking up a huge conversion and yeah so uh right here man we end up uh getting to the quarterback just as he's able to release the ball Decides to run the ball right there. Good run by him. Just something uh, I was definitely wasn't expecting. So he's definitely uh, in good scoring range to be able to make this. Uh, you know, close game. If he scores here, he goes up 17. I mean, well, he'll go down 17. Dang it. Why keep saying 17? He'll go down 14 to 7. Makes it a one possession game right here. Don't test the user. He is so disrespectful, though. Look at the honey badger coming through with the interception. Right here, just really quick. That's all I do, man. Just drags and slants. Really short routes. Almost uh, picked up the first down, but I got shoved beyond the line. So now I need to pick up this first down. And, you know, when you run man-to-man, -man, that comeback is deadly if you time it right. Because, like I said multiple times, if not, it is a pick. And most likely a pick six because they're now in front of the receiver and they're gone. So, uh, right here, I'm just trying to waste as much time as possible. You know, he's starting to use his timeouts. Trying to give himself another opportunity. Uh, right there, I just lobbed it up. Uh, just to see what I could do with Fitzgerald. Just couldn't get anything. Again, right here, we're forced to punt the ball. And uh, we punted, what, three or four times already? And we're able to hold our opponents to zero so far. Have ourselves a lead. So, like I said, playing this way forces you to become more efficient on both sides of the ball. Beautiful lob pass. But Cromarty, with the speed, is able to track, track down the pass and come through with the interception. I thought he had it, but Cromarty just blazing speed. Just ran a rocket right to the ball, being able to pick up the interception. And uh, the Cardinals definitely got themselves a good team, man. Right here, we're able to just go on ahead and take a few knees and um, win ourselves the game. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, struggled, you know, offensively. We punted a few more times than we would have liked to. But thankfully, our defense was able to come through, play pretty well, force some stops, and uh, allow us to be able to win the game, only scoring two touchdowns. So uh, definitely a very satisfying victory when you can win these games where um, struggling on offense a little bit, but like I said, the defense came through with the victory. So, uh, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. Next gameplay we got coming up for you guys is the Chiefs, and uh, definitely a good gameplay. And I can say, look out for DeAnthony Thomas. Right here, look at this pass, though. Look at, oh, look at that trajectory. That traje that, that tra oh, my trajectory. Dang it, I'm struggling over here. But look how this touch pass is beautifully thrown he jumped. Oh, man. If only Crabtree could have did this to Sherman. Look at. Um, what a beautiful. Let's just end the video off of this beautiful pass. How's your boy, Jess? And I am out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.